Hi, and thanks for coming back and joining me at Your Autism Game Plan. I'm Joya Vanderlaan, a family nurse practitioner, a functional medicine specialist, and also an autism mom myself. So I've been doing these videos for you, outlining different functional medicine topics relating to how we can help our kids. And occasionally, well, often, I will get questions from you guys and do my best to then try and answer those either in my weekly emails or in my weekly videos. So the question that we're gonna talk about today is, why is my child laughing excessively, laughing inappropriately? What is going on? Now, if you Google this, you'll find certain answers, right? Anywhere from um, it's a stimming behavior to there are certain names for this excessive laughing. Maybe something is funny inside their heads, but you know we don't understand it as the outside world, right? But there's one more thing that you do not find typically when you're Googling this because it's part of the functional medicine paradigm and it's there's a very good um, biological reason. Oftentimes when our kids have yeast overgrowth in the intestines, which is very common among our kids, the byproduct of that yeast metabolism and yeast breakdown or candida, right, is um, an alcohol-like substance. And so when there is yeast, and that yeast breaks down and is metabolized, and that substance then is circulating in our children's systems, they behave intoxicated. And that is a result of that yeast overgrowth. Now, laughing is not only um, related to yeast overgrowth, and yeast overgrowth is not only um, associated with the laughing, right? It's not a direct one-to-one -one correlation. However, the excessive laughing, when I hear that from a patient, immediately my mind goes to, we better test for yeast. So there are some testing options. My favorite way to test for yeast overgrowth or candida overgrowth is the OAT or organic acid test. It's a urine test, can be done at home, very easy, and it actually gives us a lot of other markers um, for things like nutrient levels, um, methylation, mitochondrial functioning, toxicity, all sorts of different things. I love that test as, as one of my first go-to tests for kids with autism. And I talk a lot more about that in my course and kind of exactly where you can find it and when to do it and, you know, all of that sort of thing. But in terms of the excessive laughing with relation to the yeast or candida overgrowth, it's very important if you suspect that to investigate, okay, well, is it yeast going on? Why might a child have yeast overgrowth? Well, there's a couple of very common reasons. If the child has a diet that's very high in sugars or simple carbohydrates, that for sure is one of the things because that's one thing that yeast or candida feed off of. That's their fuel. The other thing is steroid use and antibiotic use. So a lot of our kids, right, maybe they have asthma, maybe they have eczema, maybe they have other conditions that necessitate antibiotics or steroids. The antibiotics and steroids perpetuate and sometimes even cause yeast overgrowth and we're not even looking out for it. So if, if those things are true of your child, if they love sugary foods, if, if it seems like that's all they'll eat, um, or carbohydrate-rich foods, or they've been on a few rounds of steroids or antibiotics, you really should consider if that excessive laughing may be caused by the yeast overgrowth. Now, the excessive laughing alone is not necessarily indicative or diagnostic of a yeast or candida overgrowth. So what are some other symptoms that you may want to look for? Well, excessive laughing is one, but constipation, hyperactivity, sleeping problems, bedwetting issues, and the list goes on there, but those are some of the most common ones. And then some physical symptoms you might notice are a white coating, a persistent white coating on the tongue or cheeks or the roof of the mouth. Um, constipation is one. Bloating is certainly another one. Eczema or other rashes on the skin. And then certainly that cracking or rash-like um, reaction between the toes. Um, and maybe even a white overgrowth between the toes is indicative of a systemic or um, even an intestinal yeast overgrowth problem. So if your child has excessive laughing and has one or more of these other signs or symptoms, that would be another trigger to me to say, you know, we really should be testing them and then hopefully treating them as well for the yeast overgrowth. So treating yeast overgrowth can be a little overwhelming because it involves diet changes and usually either supplements or prescription medications or sometimes a combination of both depending on the patient and the family. 
Um, the treatment of candida or yeast is way more than I can get into in this short video, um, but I talk about it a lot more in my course and give very specific actions and tests and you know treatments that you can do. So check out my course in April this month for Autism Awareness Month it is actually on a deep, deep sale. And so I want as many people as possible to be able to know about it and to take advantage of it. So thanks again for joining me and remember, be gentle with yourself. You're doing a great job.